Hello everyone and welcome to another Star Wars figure review. Next up today we're going to take a look at another figure from the vintage collection Phantom Menace Wave. And this time around it's the chosen one himself, Anakin Skywalker. Now this figure is, in my opinion anyway, partially a Phantom Menace slash Expanded Universe hybrid figure as elements of this figure are clearly taken from the Expanded Universe. Um, the figure itself is obviously based upon Anakin's appearance at the end of episode 1 as he appears as a Jedi Padawan. However, the helmet, the lightsaber and a couple of other accessories that are included with this guy are clearly from the EU. So I'll talk about those more as the review goes on. First up, we're going to take a look at the packaging that he comes in. And despite being a sort of expanded universe uh, hybrid figure, the image on the card back depicts Anakin, as I said, at the end of the Phantom Menace during the Naboo celebration. Obviously we have the typical vintage layout for the card, and on the back we have that brand new 12 byte layout which features other figures available in the wave. As well as a few vehicles, and obviously a bit of info about the collection itself. So nice packaging for Anakin, not my favourite, but it'll do, it does the job. The figure itself though is fantastic, so let's get on to that. Uh, as I said, there are a few accessories included with this figure. The first of which, and the most noticeable of which, is obviously the Jedi training helmet, which we see Jedi Padawans wear in Attack of the Clones. This helmet is removable, but it fits really nicely on the figure's head, and underneath, Anakin has a superb head sculpt. Really does capture um, Anakin's appearance in the Phantom Menace. Looks a bit chubby, but uh, certainly not bad. He also comes with a lightsaber, which is obviously a, a youngling lightsaber. It's much shorter than the average blade. And the hilt is, of course, drastically different to the one he builds in his later years and the one that we all know is now synonymous with Anakin. And he also comes with an unlit hilt, which attaches to the belt as well. Now... The other accessory that is included with this figure, and in my opinion the most interesting, is this. This is obviously a Jedi training remote, very similar to the one that Luke Skywalker uses on the Millennium Falcon in Episode 4. Very, very nice to include. As you can see, it is attached to a translucent base so that it can stand up, although the training remote itself can be removed. And there's some nice detail on that. And the figure itself, in terms of detail and articulation, is definitely one of the best Anakin figures I've seen so far, at least based on this stage of his life. Um, it's a vast upgrade over the Anakin figure that was released in the Phantom Menace line, based on his appearance as a Padawan. Texture that's been captured in the Jedi robes is phenomenal. And uh, once again, he has that soft goods lower tunic, which allows for added posability. And in terms of articulation, Anakin has a ball jointed neck, ball hinged shoulders, elbows and swivel wrists, a swivel waist, swivel hips, ball hinged knees and ankles. So for a figure of this size, he's really nicely articulated. And he just looks great. Really, really impressed with him. And he looks absolutely superb next to Obi-Wan, Master and Apprentice. So definitely a worthy figure of picking up. Uh, as I said, all the accessories that come with him really give him some superb value for money. Um, I'm always a little bit undecided when it comes to small figures um, because I don't feel like I'm getting a lot of plastic, but in this instance, you get tons. So, definitely a figure that's worth picking up. I really like it, and so should you. <laughs> Just kidding. It's either for you or it isn't. So, there we go. That's Padawan Anakin Skywalker from the Vintage Collection. Once again, giving you a look at the card back. Oh, that's the wrong one. <laughs> Sorry about that. There we go. And I hope you've enjoyed this review. And I'll be back with one more Vintage Collection Phantom Menace review for you next. And it's definitely one of the most eagerly anticipated figures from this wave. So thanks for watching this review. And until next time, keep collecting and may the force be with you.